Well, folks, we're gonna do something a little bit different. There's a lot of people that have asked us to do a night show, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We've got a full moon coming up in a couple of days. So since Saturday is gonna be windy, 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 uh, we decided to go out and see what we can do. Now, Chad, you gotta remember there's a camera right there. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> my eye look. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna go out, get some bait. We're gonna fish tonight. I don't know how light we're gonna fish, but. We gonna fish till they quit biting. That's true. So it's me, Chad, and Rich. Told Rich to take the day off a little early so we can go out and get some get some fish. We're gonna go get bait and then uh, go get on the fish. So what we're doing is is we're at a marker and we're out away from it and we're chumming. Chad is chumming right into the water. Of course, where else would he be chumming? Duh. Into the sky. Into the sky. And the, the bait's already up in the chum. So I'm going to go ahead and throw. Hopefully we, it won't take us long to catch bait. Today I'm throwing the 10 foot 3 8 talon cast net. having 32 foot of rope it allows me to throw it out and let it get to the bottom before it gets in the marker that's the key don't let it get in the marker you know when I grunt it's a good one got plenty of bait at the horn using Chad shrimp shrimp rich what are you doing up there taking a nap <laughs> Woo. well folks we've been jumping around quite a bit we found some new ledges and things like that and, and uh, the bite's been a little slow for us so far and we've caught a cobia some grunts a red grouper a gag grouper that's about it I mean stingray, stingray. Thanks to, uh, Rich. Thanks to Rich, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna see what we can do. But we're waiting for that sun to go down and that moon to come up. I think that wind will lay down a little bit. It's not bad out here at all. It's absolutely beautiful. That's why we chose to come out tonight because it's supposed to blow 20 to 30 tomorrow. <laughs> and I think that's just a little bit too much for us. We can handle 15 to 20, but once it gets 20 to 30, it ain't fun. Oh, Chad's on again. Rich, you might want to cast out the other side of the boat or put on something different. See, this is what I'm talking about. People using different types of baits. Look at the size of that. Right. And he's got him tail hooked. What in the world? Hey, when you're good, you don't need oh, to get them in the Lord. mouth. That's a big grunt. It is. Especially to get him by the tail. Yeah. So that's what I mean is you want to have as many different types of bait as possible. Rich, Rich, throw, throw, it, throw it out. Throw it yeah, you drop it there, that trolling motor is going to eat you alive, boy. Uh, so anyway, 
they're fishing on this side and the, the bait's coming back towards us. I'm gonna drop it on this side. See, we're right on the edge of the ledge. It's got a perfect mark for it. So we're gonna continue to see what we can do. Rich, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do with Rich. Every time we, we bring him out here, we say the same thing. What are we gonna do with Rich? Good thing he can make jigs. <laughs> I'm starting to think you don't know how to use them. <laughs> What's going on is we've jumped around to a couple of different spots and we found some great ledges. As you can see, we're coming off one right there. And uh, it's a great ledge, but we just can't get them fired up. So I'm gonna go try a different spot here and see what happens. It's sometimes, as I, I, I've told a lot of people, we move around quite a bit until we can find that structure that there it's producing we just move around until until we find it and uh sometimes it's frustrating because you're right on the gr a great mark just like we were but those fish don't seem to really want to get it going so we're going to go to uh, another mark that i have right up here and, and check this mark and see what happens just keep moving until we find something that's all you can do yeah the big old guy oh wow <laughs> <laughs> Double headers on gags. We just caught two red snapper. Didn't get them on camera because I was too lazy. That's a pretty one. Yes, it is. Ew. <laughs> That one says, man, I wish that was as big as that last one you caught. <laughs> Get him, Rich. Oh. Another gag. Chad's on. If I wasn't in the strike zone, I'd film him. There's a mangrove. Oh yeah. A little better. That one will eat. Especially now with the me. How in the world did I miss that one? He was running like a sprinter. You missed it. I missed it. Right now we're fishing a slack tide. The moon is up. The sun's going down. And I don't know how I still missed that fish. to feed that one, it's not catch it. <laughs> According to your theory earlier. Yeah. What kind of jig are you using, Rich? Stewie with a two-odd. Stewie with a two-odd. <laughs> I'm never gonna get the fish. <laughs> oh, I've got one. That's gonna be some good video. No, I lost them. That one's fighting hard. Look at that one. That's a nice gag. Woo! And he's got a jig hanging. Does he? Broke off, yep. Stewie. <laughs> I, I, wonder, I don't Stewie. know if it's one of ours, but. <laughs> we That's not the one you broke off earlier, right? Rich is, no, uh uh. I haven't been using a Stewie here. Rich has got handed to him. Caught <laughs> me sleeping again. <laughs> he's sitting into that fish and you were like, uh oh. <laughs> Still saying uh oh. Another nice gag. This one don't have bonus jig in its mouth though. Slacker jig. Slacker. Woo hoo! That one stopped you for a second. For a second, yeah. Acting like a snapper, but. That's what that last nope. gag did. It came right off the surface. What the? Come on, man. He hit like a freight train. We're sitting here. Sun's getting ready to set. Ooh. Oh! I told you. Oh, come on, chat. Oh, 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 Is he oh. still on there? No, something. something made it on the way up. Huh? 
macro or something. Yep. We're hooking some big fish. We just, uh, we've caught some red snapper here, caught some mangrove snapper, gags. We've hooked some really big fish. What are you doing? It's right there on the thing. The towel. It's getting blood all over our boat. Come on. But anyway, that sun's getting ready to go down. As you can see off in the distance, beautiful. The wind's laid down just like I thought it would. The moon is almost, it's not overhead because it's a, it won't be a major feeding time until 10 o'clock. But the fish are, <laughs> it's crazy right now. As soon as your bait gets to the bottom, it spits fish on. Me look bad, Chad. Rich. <laughs> make a liar out of you. <laughs> Come on, Rich. Since Rich isn't doing anything, let's go check with Chad. Because Rich. Oh, come on, man. Huh? I don't think I have bait. Yeah, I got bait. What's your problem, Rich? It's probably Mark. Look at that. I walk away from Rich, and what does he do? He hooks a fish. It's a gag. Timing is right. Oh, look, he spit up another bait. Another one down there too. Does he really? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Yep. Greedy. It's probably all Chad's fish he's losing. Where's my jig? <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Get Did you lose him? So Chad, what do you what are you doing? What are you I'm using? I'm using the slacker jig with either cut bait or dead bait, but looks like I'm using cut bait because Rich is throwing all the dead bait out. Come on, Rich. Pulling 16 arm links because we're in 45 feet of water. Once the line gets to 16, close the bail and wait for the line to take off and the screaming to begin. Oh, Rich is on in the background again. <laughs> a sea bass. Ooh, sea bass. We haven't caught one of those in a while. Last time we were with Rich, we caught a ton of them. Put them in the cooler. Why are you playing with them, Rich? Get them in the cooler. It's not a bad sea bass. See that? You don't have a knot on it. Yet. No. Come on, Chad. Here I am waiting for you to catch a fish. I don't know if they're marked. Nothing. Nice. All right, now we're coming into uh, we're coming into sundown. I think things will, we've already really done pretty well. It always changes when you're fishing at night. Just the feel of everything just changes completely. Uh oh, we got two of them all. Oh no! The oh. agony of defeat in the back. Come on, man. Hold the hook. Hold the hook. Son of a biscuit. Ooh, that's a nice one. Well, it would have been tripled if I would have got mine. Nice. Nice one, Rich. He's got a white face in his mouth. Yeah, he sure does. It's 
funny these fish have not wanted to eat cut our uh, live bait they were earlier but now they won't touch it but as soon as that cut bait gets to the bottom they're on it we're in complete darkness now if you can't tell the bite was on fire there for a little while <laughs> it was crazy it slowed down a little bit but we may have to move I don't know yet So, uh, Rich. Yes, sir. When you're making jigs, do you ever find yourself putting in a little extra lucky fish powder in each jig, just just so somebody catches a couple extra? I like to use rubber hooks. Oh, rubber hooks. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I've done is I've gone to the ball jig because the tide has picked up some, and I want to get it to the bottom, see if this is going to make a difference. But we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. But this is the ball jig. I don't know how how good you can see it or how bad you can see it. What? Dang, I thought he was bigger than that. So did he, apparently. Yeah, I know, right? I'm using the two ounce ball jig. happening is that tides picked up some and so we we're trying to get our baits to the bottom and keep them on the bottom I was using three-quarter it just wasn't enough so I went to the ball jig and was keeping it on the bottom and getting bit well what we did is the wind has picked up tremendously and we wanted to fish this major feeding time so we came up a little bit shallower we're fishing in the Port Manatee shipping channel and uh, we're free lining uh, our slacker jigs one eighth of an ounce to these fish and we caught some nice snappers some grouper so hopefully we can get some on camera oh Chad just had one I'm all miscombobulated I mean literally this this wind went from zero to a hundred not a hundred but Probably good 18 to 20. That's a good snapper. There you go, fishing on the full moon or close to a full moon. We're getting ready to hit that major feeding time, and I think the bite's gonna be on fire, even though it's been good all day, all evening long. I can already tell he wants to bite me. I will not let that happen. Get him, Chad. Come on, Chad. makes me wonder why we don't do it more often. Come on, man, what is that? It's a grunt. <laughs> it's a grunt. Rich, what are you doing? Are you feeding them? I'm feeding them again. Let me try one of them slackers. We're gonna have these slackers in two different colors. One, sand, and the other is neon green. And like I said before, let me find one that has a hole opening. Color doesn't matter. Right now we're using the 1 8 ounce and we're dropping it into the channel. So as you can see here, we're sitting 
on the outside of the channel dropping in this way the tide is coming in so the tides moving this way across that channel and as you can see there's a ton of bait and fish down there and as you can see us catching the fish Well, the bite's starting to happen on that major. It's 10 o'clock exactly. Yep. Good chat. Uh-oh. GoPro start recording. It is recording. Because it's a big old grouper. Nice. nice job, Chad. Be a nice sandwich. Yes, it would. Maybe even. You might even get enough out of that one for even Rich to get a bite. <laughs> oh, we doubled up. Unless we got each other. You had your pal. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got me. Come on, man. Folks, the bite is freaking unbelievable. Yeah, that's a big snapper. snapper. I knew it when I hooked him. Yeah, but they can't see it because it's way. I'm moving. Look at that nice snapper right there. You gotta love fishing at night. The upcoming full moon is three days away and the bite is on fire. We're in the major feeding time right now. The wind picked up a lot, but we are on them. He just spit up three pieces of thumb. Greedy. so I can get a good good one Chad yeah folks if we would have not if if I would have not cut all that bait today I used the the chum or the bait the bucket chum cutter <laughs> I can never get it right I cut a whole I, five I, gallon I, pail there ain't no I in team Come he on. didn't cut a single piece of bait I've used it I caught all that <laughs> I've cut all that bait within Rich, about 10 minutes and this there is no all I they're eating team. all I heard is I I I I I, I cut the bait if whole we wouldn't five have lost gallon, I caught the bait if we wouldn't have lost it all we wouldn't have needed all lost that what? bait we didn't lose any bait. We've lost two birds of the month. No, we have. Oh. It's because we're catching fish, man. This major feeding time, as I tell everybody, you got to be in the area that the fish are at. And I've lost count.
man. Oh! That was a good fish. Come on, Todd. Oh. <laughs> he was trying to give him a finger. Quickest way into a frying pan. To bite me. was going to be off or on fire Well, folks, we made it back. What an incredible trip. That bite was unbelievable. I mean, it was it was nuts. I mean, totally nuts. Look at the size of that one. Anyway, we just wanted to show you what it's like to fish on a full moon or close to a full moon. And I think once the summer ramps up, at least in shore, when those crab flushes hap happen, uh, I think that they get so concentrated on the crabs and there's so many of them, it's, it's, I think it's harder to fish. So I think this is a perfect time of year and maybe late in the year, like September, October possibly, but it was a great, great trip. So we got a lot of cleaning up to do. I wanna say thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the support fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>